Welcome to a world where words are not just a mean of communication but a tool for express yourself in more captivating and compelling way. In this video, we will be exploring the depth of English language and covering some of its most fascinating words and phrases. So get ready to elevate your lexicon and take your language skill to the next level. There are words in this world of ours that can be understood only by those who have lived and become mature. No explanation, no definitions could make them clear to a child. Here is such a list. Vicarious, rationalize, vigorous, obsequious, maudlin, ascetism, pander, sublimate, phantom, affect. Vicarious, this is an abstract word, but it is one that is easy for grown-up mind to grasp. For example, there are two ways to travel. One, by buying a steamship ticket and going to your destination, say, Havana. The other, by reading travel stories or travel circulars about Havana. In the first instance, you have enjoyed your travel experience directly. In the second instance, you have enjoyed it vicariously. A child is learning about life when he pretends when he plays a store or house or doctor. Of course, he is fully living the life that children do. But he is also living adult life, not directly, but vicariously. And owing to his emotional immaturity, he is not ready at his age to grasp the difference in thought and effects between actual living and vicarious living. When he is older and more mature, mature he will live less vicariously and more actually, and then he will be able to appreciate the significance of the word. You as an old person will recognize that you are escaping from the real world and are living for the moments of vicarious existence and are having vicarious joys and sorrows when you are reading a book. You are living not your own life but the lives of the characters of the story. In the shop girl who heard the movie can for the time being become lovely, glamorous, Hires to whom the hero makes the passionate love that she would like to experience herself. The screen is offering her vicarious thrills, substitutes for adventure, romance, travel, love. She is for the time living vicariously. As an interesting sidelight, a vicar who is a petty officer or assistant priest in the Church of England has delegated but no direct authority, like vicarious. Vicar comes from the Latin word vicarious, and both of them have inherited the same character of indirection. Gregarious, gregarious. This term comes from the Latin word rex, meaning a flock of cattle. And you know, cattle like to stay together. If you are gregarious type, you are a friendly person, a good mixture. You like to be with other people, that is, you are extremely social, sociable kind. Because you are gregarious, you enjoy parties, crowded theatres, and dance floors. You like to be where flock falls and flock in small or not number. Because people are gregarious, they get married, have families, live in thronging cities, sing and play together. A hunger for love, friendship, and feeling of kinship with other human beings is a normal and common human trait. It is a gregarious instinct. Obsequious. The beggar, the underlined, the lucky, and the flunky all the tend to be obsequious. Those who wait on other in an inferior capacity and whose lives and jobs depends on the whims of their masters are apt to be cring uh, cringing and fawning. They are often excessively, sickeningly, and insanely polite. If your waiter is a hotel or a restaurant, believe that you are the type 
who will tip him well watch how obsequious he will be how he will bow to you and attend on your slightest wish if you don't leave the expectative these obsequious these will quickly vanish and he will not oh mean upon sequel follow follow submissively upon your wishes modeling a person is one who super sentimental and gushing who cries easily and without much cause people who are modeling in their affections usually overdo the act and their love becomes tiresome and offensive the word modeling can also be applied to those who have been made foolish and silly by too much drinking here incidentally is an odd word history mary magdalens who wished washed the feet of christ has often been pictured with her eyes red from weeping as the centuries have gone by the proper name magdalen has been contracted into the adjective modlin a citizen ascetic is one who is given to severe self denial austerity attitude and who practice rigid abstinence and devotion often to a religious cause when you say that is a man and ascetic you mean that he is one who shuns all the luxurious pleasures of life anyone who eats and drinks uh, heartily or otherwise disappears I mean vanish is a precise opposite of an ascetic and does not believe in ascetism pander this verb literally means to minister to the gratification of the passion and prejudices of others usually to one's own profit many fashion stories can be said to pander to the bizarre sex emotion the yellow journals and the sensational press often pander to our love of crime ruthless directors pander to the lowest instincts of the masses to their selfishness cruelty and greed in order to gain power pander therefore is an unpleasant word with an unpleasant meaning the noun panderer has a still more restricted meaning and frequently signifies a man who procures women for others just a panderer the leader of the lycians in the trojan war is said to have procured the lovely lady chrysis for troilus sublimate this english word originally came from the latin word sublimatus which means raised on high and is closely related to our word sublime sublime made in its figurative sense mean to refine to purify sometime when the energies of the bad boy of the neighborhood are drived into athletic games or into business career or into some other channel of useful work his former destructive activities and then said to have been sublimated again uh, psychologists tell us that last refine or the wish to rescue and kill are often merely indications of excess energy the majority of such people can be taught to sublimate this desire and passion in creative activity this is sublimation in its highest and most useful form used in the sense of the original latin sublimatus raised on high Benton, this old Anglo-Saxon town has many definitions, but when he says he is a Benton man, he usually means that he is a man who who is living without re- restraint of appetite, especially one who is uh, luxurious, lewd, less uh, lascivious, and lustful. Effect. when animals plant or soil are worn out and incapable of producing they are called aphid latin ex out fetus having produced more commonly through this adjective is applied to men to mankind when they are for you are speaking of ancient rome and the time of its fall you characterize it is an 
affect civilization. You necessarily mean that it was a civilization that was degenerate and completely worn out.